Like we always do about this time. What's up, what's up, what's up? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Wildcard Martin, the building. Of course, my man with the grand master plan for the IOW Network, Detroit Mel, is in the building. What up, dude? To another episode of I Often Wonder. <coughs> I often right, 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 wonder. right, 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 right. Yeah, so please do us a favor. Go follow us, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube page, I Often Wonder 19. And that is the same address for our Facebook instagram as well as our twitter accounts as well i often wonder 19 show us some love on those other social media platforms as right. well so let's get down to the nitty-gritty because you know i think what sparked this episode uh, was because we were talking about uh debt somewhere mm -hmm. or, or something that had to do with president biden and then you know kind of kind of triggered my man detroit man like a <laughs> wounded dog ow, ow, a little trigger and so i was like huh save that for i often wonder because that's a good topic we can talk about because <laughs> recently our president well he ain't my well he is president my president but he ain't my president <laughs> um put into a a uh, student debt loan forgiveness uh and it said uh, I, I just wanted to bring up a, a, a little article that i saw because i want to make sure that we are actually being 100 factual about the situation uh because uh you know um ten thousand you know could go up to 20 for certain qualified uh uh people um you know, I don't. I, I think we need to find out the qualifications of that uh, because you know it's been a minute since I've been in school, uh, right? And uh, I can even, you know, I was gonna say something, but I ain't gonna incriminate myself. But uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no. It, look, if if you're in our age bracket, from you know, depending on if you went to medical school, medical school, or you continue your schooling for a long period of time, pretty much from my mid forties on down to. Uh, you know, early 20s, um, you, you've all dealing with some type of debt when it comes to going to college. Right, right, right. Um, and so, you know what? I, I, I got a couple of things I want to say, but I, I'm going to let the floor go to man because I got to see what, <laughs> what triggered this. What, what's, what's this <clears throat> thing that just had you about to go ape shit? So, I'm just saying, sir, man. the floor is yours. Uh, uh, thank you, my brother. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Ebo <laughs> bacon. <laughs> man, look, man. I just think that biting on some bullshit. <laughs> For real. It's like he know. I mean, he went he went to college. He knows that it's no way that ten thousand dollars gonna do a dent to anybody's college debt. If you went to any kind of school, I don't care what school you went to, backyard tech, babalo tech. <laughs> You know, underwater basket weaving you, whatever you went to, <laughs> it's gonna cost more than 10 grand to go to that school. And that's, <laughs> a, and that's a for sure. Make it make it show how and much books you see may cost you 10 grand. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> <the> books <laughs> for real, by the time you hit you with the supplies and stuff, you didn't spend 10 grand in the student um union. So it's like, come on, man. You, you, you know, you throwing out these things that make say, Oh, we're doing things and you're not going super political, but 
you ain't doing nothing. You just posturing because if you really want to do something, forgive the whole thing. There's countries that give free education. You don't have to pay for a university. You know? And then when they throw out, well, we'll make uni- um, um, community college free. Oh, we can't do that. Why? Mm-hmm. We didn't tell you to make all college free. Just make community college free. That's on two years. You can't do that. So then you come over this 10 grand and 10 grand won't put a dent in nothing. You know, what, what you going to do with 10 grand? I owe a hundred thousand dollars in college. That's going from undergrad to graduate school. A hundred thousand dollars. <clears throat> 10 grand won't see nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like giving a well a Tic Tac. You ain't, it ain't making no dent. You ain't, you ain't, t- you can't tell that it's been there. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Mm-hmm. I, I think that, you know, if he was really serious, which, you know, he's not, <clears throat> he'll forgive at the very least $50,000. Yeah. That's the very least. He started 50. Well, hell, I mean, college tuition is starting at 50 nowadays for the most part. I mean, not everybody is going to have the luxury of, 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 being able to pay 50 grand so obviously you hope you get some grants right you know get you some scholarships mm-hmm. but if you, if you don't get those you what's more than like gotta take us gotta take a loan out right and and hell half of that is 25. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right right for real. For so real. What, what this 10 gonna do i'm still left yeah, with 15 man. to pay for right and, and, <laughs> and go and look at we've been through the last couple of years people and you know got financially um Hurt for the um pandemic, yeah. Jobs lost, um, jobs, you know, jobs lost due to business, business going out of the business. I'm going out of business. Um, people lost jobs, you know, based on they they their job has been wiped out, no longer needed. Yeah. You know, different things that happened due to the pandemic that train that changed the landscape of people's financial situation. <clears throat> and so, you know, you give out these stimulus checks. Which really wasn't a lot. It, I mean, it helped, but it wasn't a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you really were serious, why eliminate people's uh, student loans? The one less bill have to pay, they can put more money back into the economy. Mm-hmm. You know, everything is going up. You, you know, gas. You know, yeah, it's, it's come down some, but still high. Still high as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you can't say, oh, they, oh, gas going down, but still high. And then the how the people are talking about like these policies about gas going down, they ain't paying for gas anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It could be $20 a gallon, they ain't paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we the common people that want paying for it. Yeah, they, you know, yeah, we can't afford no Teslas. <laughs> All right. We can't afford no we don't have no driver. Uh home bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford that. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Here, here's one thing I've always thought about when it always comes to like just college in general. Why 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 are we paying this high high amount for schooling? That should be free. Yeah. I never understood the, the idea of paying for education. I never understood it. For so, something that most people don't even use anymore, you, I don't even use my degree. You know what's crazy? There's a, obviously me and my Mel degrees. Are, 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 obviously, me and Mel are in the culinary field. Mm-hmm. I did get my degree in culinary field, but mm-hmm. you know how many people in that industry don't have any kind of education in that field, right. and yet you end up <laughs> stuck there. They like. Literally, uh, all right. Uh, theater majors, English majors, mm-hmm. uh, engineers, right or not. Like some of these, some of these, I guess, foreign holes. <laughs> some, <laughs> some of these degrees that people are paying fifty thousand a year for, just be paper collecting dust. Yeah, that's it. That's and, it. I don't even know what mine is at anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But it's it's it. I never understood that point of 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 paying for schooling. I just never understood it. it it's like, um, now I'll say this: I 
I will. I don't mind paying for a trade school because it, guess what? It's a trade. More than likely, that trade is in a profession or in a field that I know. It, it probably ain't going away. Ain't going away. It, At it the very least, been. you can hustle. You can hustle on the side with it. Yeah, no. but all these, all these uh, aerospace technique engineer uh, degrees and all this other stuff, uh, aeronautics degree and and all that other. Stuff, you know, it like they got so many fields and degrees in all these universities that you're paying fifty grand for. And my thing is like, is that realistic? Right. Is it realistic? I, I mean, we got to question that before we even before we <clears throat> take them student loans. Is this realistic? It's not, man. It's not realistic. It's not even. <clears throat> it's not feasible if you look at the price that you're paying for. Let's go with doctors. You know, everybody. Oh, I'm going to be a doctor. It's doctors that have been doctors for 10 years still paying for education. Mm-hmm. Now, you're talking about, you know, everybody's talking about how much money doctors make. They still paying for their education 10 years out of school. That shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Even if you, even if you say we should pay for school, okay, I, I, I give you that. <clears throat> it shouldn't be a way, it shouldn't be nowhere where I, I take out money, I get a job, if I get a job in my profession that I went to school for, I should be able to, within a year or two be able to pay back that loan. It shouldn't be so much that I have to pay through a course over my entire career, or most of my career, or the first 10 or 15 years into my career. That shouldn't happen. College should not be that expensive. And you better hope you bank enough money that you can actually live. Right. <laughs> For real. And pay this shit back. <laughs> That's real. For real. And then you be like, oh, it's in default. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't even be. If I go in default, Government should just go ahead and close that loan out. Period. Because I can't pay it. Uh, is it, is it I mean, it's, <laughs> I can't pay it. What I'm going to do? Student loan, water bill. Student loan, electricity. Student loan, <laughs> roof on my head. Student hey, loan, student, losing, losing all the time. Every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> just undefeated. He's just losing every time. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I mean, it's defeated, not undefeated. Catch, catch no, no dubs. No and dubs. No, you know what I'm no saying? It's no dubs at all. You know, pussy is too low. Anywhere it goes, it's losing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, okay, Shoot, movies you. too long. Hey, you put student loan on the other side of anything. It's more yeah. times in life. They're going to lose. <laughs> Hey, bro! I, I didn't, I didn't look at my weed stats a couple of times. I'm like, man, this shit getting low. That student loan, we <laughs> student <laughs> loan. Let's get high. <laughs> I'm a smoke, <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just, I look. I can't put a student loan over other priorities like my roof, my food, right. my clothing, my transportation, like. That's what keeps my livelihood going. All right. And especially if you're not even using that degree. I really ain't really putting over nothing. <laughs> Son, nigga, it's, this ain't nothing but piece of paper, now. Nah. It's useless. <sighs> it's like it's like stitched up pussy. Useless. <laughs> 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 Sir, we're trying to keep our women viewers. Please. <laughs> Please. They know what they know it's useless. <laughs> if they just stitched up, it's useless. <laughs> they know that. <laughs> they probably like, well, you know, he yeah, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. And I see why you went to college. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's smart. He good. <laughs> <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> <laughs> but and, and, and so with with and I think what's really irritating is that obviously we haven't been in school for a minute, but like Right, the tuition keeps going up year in and year out. Yeah, like, yeah, it steady goes up. Bro. It keeps going up, going up, going up, and like there's there's no there's no drop off. There's no hey, you know, uh, hey, maybe maybe we should. And here's my thing: all these universities that are charging, say fifty thousand for each student, they got almost mm-hmm. like 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 ten ten thousand students. Like that's a that's a lot of bread for a year. A lot of bread. It's a lot of bread for one year. <laughs> then we ain't talking about schools. Schools like your Dukes, your Stanford's, even Carolina, Michigan, um, MIT, 60, 70. You know what I'm saying? Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, Matter Colgate. Fact, you know, I, I, look at schools I, like that. 
I want to look up how much uh, uh, Harvard tuition is. Right. Yeah, Cause I was gonna go to Yale at one time. One with the um for my graduate school. Yeah. So right now it's saying Harvard's tuition is about fifty four thousand a year, a semester a year. I, uh, I'm a. It, it just kind of just said tuition. I'm just saying a year. Okay. So four. Uh, multiply that by four. Too much. <clears throat> It's, uh, that's over two hundred thousand dollars, bro. All right, so right now you said you wanted to go to Yale. It's fifty-seven thousand seven hundred. Well, I know much of it. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh hey, no, I ain't got big debt. Like, it's true. I mean, where I went, it was only it was like what thirty-five or forty. Hell, I went to Johnson Wells Coordinating School. It was twenty. Oh shoot! Now I, so, I mean, four years of that is a lot of money. Yeah, that that's. And it it was a private school, so it it didn't matter if well, you were in state or out of state. Mm -hmm. So they said, "Hey, twenty grand." And right. I, honestly, that was that was back in 07. Yeah, so it's probably more than that. So I I mean I I wouldn't even you know want to <laughs> find out what it is now. You know, hey, yeah, it, it's it not ridiculous. Up. Yeah, twenty five. Yes, we did. So I mean, it, it ain't gone up crazy amounts, but still, still I mean, ridiculous. yeah, I, I I don't I don't understand how how you charge so much to go to school and then you you not being I I guess you're not giving a damn that we can't afford paying your student loan and live right. a life, and the best you can do is. Throw like a little, little pennies at us to for man. Us. Look, here's my thing. Forgive this, us, right? This is <laughs> this is more. This is geared towards Biden since he's the one who put it out there. I'm tired of Democrats in general posturing. How no, especially towards us as black people. You know, I still ain't never forget. He was like, "Oh, you ain't vote for me, then you ain't black." Black, y'all. My I, thing is like yeah. how. How uh, we should see that saying he automatically assumes he's gonna get our vote, mm -hmm. he automatically assumes he's gonna get it. You know, automatically, automatically. Oh, wait, wait, I know black people gonna vote for me. We Democrats, we we get the black vote. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, they shouldn't automatically assume that it should be fighting for our votes. That's why, and I'm not saying that ten thousand dollars is a black issue, but that's why he can put out a mess like this because it, it's more geared towards people who are poor, people who are well, that's, and my guys, and that's the point of pretty much of this forgiveness right and he, he's hoping that oh <laughs> they ain't got no money you know to jump out like that but that's that's the assuming that people who who quote unquote you think are uh financially insecure or mm -hmm. poor that you assume that they're stupid yeah you know what i'm saying most people's uh econ uh economic situation don't always equate to their uh intellect oh yeah you know, saying they can pretty be smart and just happen to be in a bad situation. Oh, so all the time. you know, so but they just think, oh, ten thousand dollars. They jump a day. It's ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars ain't nothing. I pay these bills every day. I know what they are. Well, oh, in, in case of my student loan, not I'm not paying this bill every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but I know what it is. Loan, but the other bills, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know what this bill is. Hey, I know what them is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So let, me, so let me so let me ask you mm -hmm. this, Mel. What what would you say to the people that might jump in the comments right now and be like, "Oh well, ten thousand is something. You you're not being grateful. You ungrateful. What, what would you say to that person right now?" I tell them, why should I accept? Why should I accept the bone instead of getting the steak? Hmm. You no, know, why should I accept crumbs instead of getting the whole loaf? You know. You you want me you want my vote, don't you? Well, give me something to, to earn my vote. So 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 you're in favor of just hundred percent debt forgiveness. Either yeah. I mean yeah, I am that's that's right. my goal. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 right. my, my my goal is hundred percent debt forgiveness. My comp my um compromise is at least fifty. That'll help a lot of people out, man. Mm. You you get forgive fifty thousand dollars. Um, you know what I'm saying? In some case, in some case that is death forgiving for some people. And some people, 
is at least putting a dent in what they owe, bringing down this interest rate, bringing down the amount they got to pay every year, and, and, and shortening the length of time they got to pay it. Not to mention, how about it helps us with certain people with their damn credit score? Yeah, that too. Credit score get better, you can buy a house. That helps the economy. That helps the real estate industry. You buy, you'll buy a car, maybe possibly. That help out the economy. You might go get more, a little more groceries now. I don't have to spend as much money. That helps the economy. Or I might buy some more shoes for, uh, you know, for my child. I think that's a yeah. domino effect. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you seeing more money. It's don't be like, man, people stimulus checking, putting new rims on your car and stuff like that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh well, well, obviously there's going to be some knuckleheads that's going to take advantage of the system. Uh, to me, that's that's just a given. Yeah, not everybody's going to be financially smart mm -hmm. or responsible with that. Right. I shouldn't say smart. Let me say financially responsible mm -hmm. because I think what it is is a lot of people they think what they know is was responsible with money that is given to them. Right. But until they actually given that actual financial. Uh, uh, what I, I want to say, uh, financial literacy about mm -hmm. how the money that they get and where you can properly put it, right? Until they get that education or that literacy on it, they're not gonna know. They're just not. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> but yeah, that's why that's my biggest thing about that, man. You have we we have to uh, as people who who are voters, mm -hmm. you know, we have to make them earn our vote. Yeah. Whether that be minorities, whether that be other uh, female demographic, you know, white male demographics, you know, yep. Hispanic demographic, whatever the demographic is, you that know, you represent, yep. that you represent, make them earn your vote, your vote. Yep. You know, yep. stop taking, we have to stop taking crumbs as Americans, stop taking crumbs. You know, and I speak, you know, if I speak just specifically for black people, you know, we need not allow them. To assume that we're gonna vote for them just because they're Democrats, mm. you know. I mean, I gotta vote for you. I mean, if if I say that if Trump's gonna forgive my student loan, maybe I might vote for Trump. Shit, Trump, Trump 2024, he do that. I ain't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm rolling with carrot top. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to lose? Right. Well, yeah, I, I come, I come right on over, dog. I'm right on over. I'd be a Trumper in the ass. Right. I said it. You know what I'm saying? He's forgiving oh. some student loans. Pull up my dang on uh, blue and black flag. <laughs> make make America great right. again. <laughs> make my student loan zero again. For <laughs> <laughs> real. Hey, do that. Hey, you might you might got something there, Trump. You might got something. You didn't turn the black the black vote. <laughs> At least two. <laughs> At least two. <laughs> two more than what you would have had. Right. <laughs> but, right. but so let me ask you this: Do you, mm -hmm. do you think I think uh, you're worrisome about this bill? Is it more of an indictment of how you feel that Biden's been doing since he's been in office? Yeah, man, he ain't been doing shit. <laughs> Just posturing and just and posturing and posturing and falling asleep doing speeches. That's it. Hey, you know, I, I knew he well, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't I didn't vote for him. But uh I knew I knew we was in trouble when your man can't even ride a bike. Yeah, right. Hey, bro, you can't even ride a bike, bro. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look, look hey, you can't guy. ride a bike, hey gonna run a country. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said. Oh, man, how the hell is this man running the Fall country? off a bike, bro. Fall it's like that's like bike. hitting a parked car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you can't hey. You you say that a lot of people do that shit though. <laughs> yeah, that's surprised. what I'm saying. And they they just as bad. <laughs> but how did? But I don't know, man. I just think that, um, and I ain't want to turn this into a political show. But anyway, since we went down this road, hey, we did. Uh... He he hasn't done anything at all, and you know, now you know some things. I don't. I'm not one of those people say, "Oh, gas prices up." The president don't control the gas price. He ain't got a button in his dang on office and say, oh, yeah, "Raise gas, it. yeah, lower <laughs> gas." You know what I'm saying? Raise it, lower it. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna say, "Oh, gas is high," because he's been not. No, I'm not blaming him for that. But I'm saying, but you haven't done anything to combat it. You haven't done anything to help. You haven't hey, done anything. Hey, 
But he'll smooth take credit when it go down, though. Oh, yeah. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Oh, you see, gas prices went down since I've been in the office. You know what I'm saying? Uh, employment. I mean, where's the, where the, where the incentive for uh, Americans to get new jobs? I'm not talking about McDonald's. I'm not talking about, you know, fast food or the service industry, which is nothing wrong with that. But to me, unless you have a passion for that, those are entry level jobs. Those are things you might start off. Okay, I need a job. You know, I let me go ahead and do this. Money. I need to get some money. Boom, boom, boom. You're young. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if you got a passion for it, you know, like culinary and stuff like that, I'm not saying anything wrong with it. But in general, you know, those are entry level jobs. And a lot of those jobs depend, unless you're working in a, uh, a Michelin star restaurant or a big corporate corporation, they don't make a lot of money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You make you so you rarely make an ends meet. And if you only got a, a if you're a single income household, you know, you make you work at two, maybe three jobs or two jobs in the hustle. So where's the relief for that? Yeah. You know, things are going up, but you're not it's not do not doing anything to combat the the rise of of cost. You know, groceries going up, gas going up. I mean, I can hey, go down man. the line. Hey man, I've always said this. Our pay should go up with with the way the economy is going. Y'all inflate like, some shit, mm-hmm. make my pay go up. Right, it should be just like they're doing <laughs> your, uh, uh, my job. When he, well, I ain't done in a while, but I used to give um, what you call them um, cost of living increase. Yeah, to the government government should do the same thing. We need I cost of living too. increase. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Especially look. People think like like like, and here here's my here's my thing. We get people who are government officials who don't live in the same tax bracket as us, and they think that our bracket is like theirs. It ain't like mm-hmm. that. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. Right. So your bracket is way totally different from mine. Your situation is way different from mine. And I hate that a lot of decisions that are made for us doesn't reflect our lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Pisses me off. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I mean, how are you telling somebody who was who a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them come from like you know legacies and rich background, blue bloods and stuff like that, and you tell them you tell somebody who pass down everyday, money, yeah, who's an everyday average person, you pass a loss to tell them what's best for them. You don't know what's best for them. You don't live. You don't live like they do. You haven't. And the ones that may have came from a humble background, having lived like that for a long time, they ain't broke no more. Right, and, and like so, you ain't. I think, and then you got a lot of them that's like old, with old ways, old ways. Just like we talk about um, um, baseball. Mm-hmm. You know, we're bringing about baseball. How it's like a lot of old ways in baseball is not old appealing to the, yeah. it's not really appealing to the the younger generation. Well, same thing with politics. Got a lot of old people in politics who's trying to tell someone or uh, people who are way younger than them what's best for them. And you out of touch. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not in touch with that's why I think it should be a term limit on the uh how, how you know a Senate and or well, Congress in general. It should be a term limit. Because once you get a certain age, you out of touch with what's going on in society. You all touch it. What's going on with, with, with um, what's going on in the world? You just sit on down and let some new people come in, some get some new, fresh new blood, ideas. some new ideas, some fresh blood, blood fresh thoughts. Yep. You know, and, and keep it fresh because we should we should be we supposed to be the greatest country in the world, right? So they always say, well, we should always be looking to move to the next. Um, uh, what's the next? What's the next step into the future? Um, uh, that'll be. You're looking at being green. You're looking at electric vehicles. You're looking at hybrid vehicles. All those kinds of things is the future. And you keep fighting things. I mean, part of it's money. We already know that. You know what I'm saying? You get money from big oil and all that stuff. But I'm just saying, I'm generalizing, saying, if that's where the future is going, we should be moving towards the future. Mm -hmm. And not trying to stay in 1979. It's not the same. It's not the same when you was a kid in the 50s or, uh, you know what I'm saying, or the 60s. It's not the same. 
is 2022. Right. And that's a good way to end it. I like that. I like that. So please hop in the comments. Let us know how we doing. Um, you know, hey, we love the feedback. You know, drop your own opinion on, on today's topic. You know, I right. mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I'm going to take that 10,000 forgiveness. But, you know, I mean, you know, y'all didn't put me in hell of debt already. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't want to. Go ahead and knock 10 off that honey. Still on 90, but okay, thank you. <laughs> 10 days and less than a day ago, but I'll take it. Right. It's still going to be a while before I pay it off. Pay y'all a dollar a day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be a minute. Nick, you nickel and dime me. I'm a nickel and dime you. <laughs> nickel and dime you. <laughs> but no, jump in the comments. Please like, share. Follow us on on especially on YouTube. I often one in nineteen. I often one in nineteen is the same address on the other platforms, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please like, share, follow, hit that bell notification, Bing. subscribe, yeah, and spread the word of what we got going on. So, but on behalf of the I often wonder podcast crew, I am the Wildcard Mar. That's my guy Detroit Mel. Peace and love. Till the next time. Earth. Mm, mm.